Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to look into paginator report and uh, actually how we can export data from our Power BI desktop report um, using paginator report without Power Automate. There are so many solutions available right now uh, exporting data using paginator reports because uh, you have the pre-formatted a uh, pixel perfect paginator report known as uh, you can use that as to export the data, the look and feel the way you want it. Um, so there's a Power Automate. Uh, it has some prerequisite what you need. And uh, if you need to use Power Automate, uh, I will walk through that uh, about the requirement in this video. Uh, the other way is embedding uh, paginated report in Power BI. Uh, that came up like there's a visual for paginated report. And the third, the one which I'm going to look into today is like, user will interact with the report, select slicers and select the values. And then on a click of a button, it will uh, help us to export the data um, in Excel format or PDF if you wanted to, but I will show in Excel format. And uh, again, to achieve that, we will not be using Power Automate, but we will be using uh, uh, paginated report URL parameters. So let's first take a look at that, what I'm trying to achieve here, and then we will look into the solution. So let's get to Power BI service and the Power BI report. So here I have a sample sales report. Um, of course, I have a date range, I have a product, customer and different slices. So I put a button here at the bottom, which calls click to export data. What does that mean is what it is going to do is on click of this button, it is going to call pass in a, a URL parameters to the paginated report and then export it in, in an Excel. And uh, it will use date and the customer uh, parameters based on the selection done in the slicer. So let's uh, have a quick demo of this. So let's say I go, uh, my date range is uh, still 2010 to 2014. And let's say I pick up three or four um, customers here. So this is what I'm interested in. And now I, I can do click to export data. Now a couple of uh, um, uh, things to consider it will open a new window because what it is going to call it's going to call a paginated report which is already published in in power bi survey it is going to pass those parameters to the paginated report and as you can see and then it will export that report and uh, now it has already exported so if i open this file so what you will see is a uh, again the paginated report what you're seeing in the behind the scene is the one which i already created using report builder and published in power bi service and calling that report with the click of the button and passing the parameters uh, subgroup grouping so with the plus sign uh, because that's what i that did in paginated report and this is what actually um, coming to the excel as well so this this is exporting so it only the the number of uh, customers we selected it we pass those number of customer value to the pageant report, also the date range. Um, again, I'm th this video is not about showing pageant report, but more about how to export data from Power BI, does, uh, Power BI report using a pageant report URL parameters instead of uh, Power Automate. So before we uh, look into uh, uh, how it has been done, let's look into the URL parameters. Uh, I will put the description of this link um, in the video as well. So the URL parameters in Pagnier reports, there's the, the main point here is there's a two part of it, uh, or actually three. The first part is the, the actually Pagnier report URL where the report is. The second is the RP colon, the parameter value. So uh, the number of parameters you have, you pass that as an, a parameter value. And the RDL part of this is uh, what is uh, the export settings or the uh, report settings. So if we look at the parameter reference, in RDL, you have the options, uh, available values are RDL format is equal to PDF. In my case, I'm using Excel. So you can, these are the values you can pass. You can have PDF, CSV or Excel format. And um, then there are other settings um, as well. For this is PDF specific settings. This, these are CSV um, uh, specific settings. And these are Excel specific settings. And at the end of the day, there is a, another settings which like target on the same window. That's what it shows up in the export in the same window. And one more thing, um, um, there was a parameter show on and off. Um, there are other other uh, settings which you can pass. Uh, I'm not sure where they are in the documentation here. Yeah, here. 
uh, RD, RDL parameter panel, whether you want the parameter to be shown when the report, when the panel report get called, it's a collapse or it's a hidden or expanded. In my case, I have uh, hidden the parameter um, um, panel because I am passing the parameter from my um, uh, click of the button from Power BI Desktop. So, uh, so that's about the URL parameters. This uh, I will put the link in, in in the description. Then again, to pass a a report parameter in a URL for panel report is another documentation which is a great document and uh, I followed this to make it happen. This talks about what the uh, report parameter values is supposed to be. So like for example in this case it says okay uh, this is the report and the first part and then you are question mark RP salesperson this is name of the parameter and this is the value of the parameter and of course RP so in this particular URL what it is doing is it's uh, using the salesperson parameter in paginated report, filtering it by type plus a type beer, and then state is equal to UTA. So that's what it is doing. And in this case, uh, it's using the salesperson is equal to Triggy. And uh, so there are other configurations here, like if you want to pass the null value and, and whatnot. So, um, um, so there are certain uh, things you need to keep note of this. So you can um, you can read all about this here. Um, uh, one thing is that this is the one which we are going to show in a demo or, or see in a demo. So here we are passing the multiple uh, salesperson. In my case, I was passing multiple customers. So this uh, RP salesperson, same parameter. First, it's point tie bear, and then the same salesperson is equal. So it means um, tie bear, and the, these are the options selected in the parameters. If 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 you uh, manually uh, select in the paginated report, so. Now, this is how you do with the your parameters, but what is what about using the power automate? Um, first of all, with the power automate, we have to uh, there's a, some limitations. Uh, as you can see, the prerequisite for power automate is if you're using at least one workspace in your power BI tenant backed by reserve capacity, which is A4 or A6. So you need a A4, which is P1 to P3 capacities. Uh, or if you have a premium per user capacity, again, you can use Power Automate using the PPU license, but there is a limit, limit of five minute window. So if you uh, run a uh, Power Automate to export the paginated, paginated report, you can run it like every uh, second. Uh, you have to wait for five minutes to, to um, because that's a limitation if you're using the PPU. Uh, but with the, with the uh, click of the button, Without power, uh, um, uh, power Automate, the one which we just saw, um, using the Paginated Report URL parameters, we can we can click as many times as we want. Um, again, um, we can customize that pretty much the way we want it. So let's look into the how I created that and uh, what was the solution to make it happen. So here is my report, uh, which is published in in the service, which we just saw, and this is the button uh, what I'm using. So first, let's look at the, what we're doing on the click of this button. So when I say click on this button, um, what we have is in the format image under action. Uh, we are, our type is web URL because we want to call a, a web URL. And then on the, on the condition, it's not a fixed web URL because we are constructing web URL based on the selection. So I'm using in the field value, I'm using export URL. So this is the measure which I created which is getting dynamically created based on the selection. So let's look at what is in export URL um, uh, measure. So here it is. Uh, let me click. Okay. So I. So if you look at the export URL um, measure here. So base. I uh, save the report uh, link in a in a variable base report URL. Uh, it can be stored in a database. It can be stored somewhere else as well, depending on. Um, how you how you want to do it. So for this demo purpose, I have the base report URL uh, which I stored here. Where did I get that base report URL parameter? So let's go back to Power BI service. If I go to uh, my customer statement, this is the uh, this is the report I'm calling called custom statement with date range. So if I go to my workspace, uh, let's go to workspace customer statement with date range. So this is the report which is getting called. So if I open that report, so this is where I grab the URL for the paginated report. So that's my URL parameter. So that's this value. Now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm creating a customer parameter 
uh, in my paginated report that you have to be very very careful what the parameter name is called not the parameter um, a, a caption what we see in the report uh, actually what the parameter name is the name could be uh, totally different so so i'm saying okay rp again that's a report parameter dim customer customer is equal to so i create stored it in a variable and then i'm iterating over parameter customer value and and uh, and rejoining it so if you look at that what i'm doing is uh, um, parameter customer th this particular variable which gives me this value and then what i'm doing here is parameter customer multiply um, uh, concatenated with um, so i'm iterating over each value which is selected in the slicer so in the i'm iterate so values dim customer will give me the distinct value of all the cust selected customers and then concatenate x will make it a it's a string so let me show you how does this string look like so what we can do here is uh, let's create a dem, um, demo export url so we can see actually what is happening on the each step um, uh, export url demo so i will copy the same parameter here so instead of returning all this let me store this in a variable and let's first return uh, parameter customer value so let's see what does this this bring us um, let's put it in a page somewhere in a kpi let's go to a new page and export url demo and maybe make it a Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I think I should bring a, um, a um, date and customer uh, slicer into that page as well so that we can see how does that look like. So, okay, so these two are here. Okay, let's sync this. So now if I select, let's say, two or three. Um, here you go. So uh, let me make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. Create, make it 14. Okay. So as you can see, what is happening? So RP dim customer customer. That's the name of the parameter is equal to Aaron Alexander. That is the value, the first customer, uh, whatever the sort of it I think turned out to be, Aaron Alexander and RP dim customer customer is equal to Aaron Adam. So basically every selected customer is now have rp dim customer is equal to and the customer value so if i select three four it keep on increasing so that's a requirement so this is our five customers so that's what is happening in in this in this step now in the next step parameter from date and to date what i'm doing is of course i this is a the parameter name is called from calendar date and then i am whatever the date range is selected i'm getting the minimum date of that and also getting the maximum date so let's look at the value these variables return parameter from date if we look at that it's returning uh, because i'm putting the and in front of every parameter because that is what the what the uh, actually i'm doing in this one i will show you why um m percent so rp from calendar date that's a date because that's what we have selected here and if i go uh, to if i pick the parameter to date what i have it here is uh, so that is my end date 31st so i'm saying i want it from start to end or whatever the date is selected it will change and then this is my export setting so as i showed the R rdl settings so what we're doing here is uh, so i'm rdl the format is excel open xml that's what the requirement is and the report view is equal to page view i want it to be a page view and the parameter panel i said hidden and the target same video is equal to true so this is the my rdl setting if i need a pdf or a, if i really make a slicer here like also give the user the option you export in what format i can have the pdf csv excel and then these values the rdl format parameter i would regenerate based on the selection but in this case i just fix it to excel and that's why it is uh, what we're doing but you can always extend it to to the different format as well so once i've constructed all the different parts of the uh, url i then combined all those together so the base report url so that is my first thing 
and then question mark and then the parameter customer value so it gives me the all the customer values and then um, rp client calendar date uh, from calendar date to calendar date and then the final output so now if we return this uh, the whole string so this is what it now looks like so I, um, you know uh, first part is uh, you report url and then question mark then all the queries um, the parameters value i'm passing and then the last one is the rdl format which i am passing and as you can see uh, i'm putting the m percent uh, because the first one i did not do parameter customer because that's after a question mark but after that every parameter you are combining to differentiate that you have to put the m percent so that's why it is all here and now once this has been done um, this is what i'm constructing in the export url and uh, then it is pretty straightforward uh, and uh, what you just saw in the demo uh, on the, so we are on click of this button we are calling that web url with that dynamic measure which we generated and that that is what triggering us to uh, export the report again this a lot of my customers are actually using this feature i using this feature before the paginator report visual came in power bi and uh, I, i'm still using it because it's easy user like if they select certain things on the page and they click the button and they can export the data immediately and uh, it's it's very very valuable um, you know and very very flexible at the same time and you can construct as many uh, you know different ways you want depending on your reporting needs i'm actually going to do another part 2 of this video where we will see how we will extend this functionality where let's say our need is that we have a different customers and at uh, we we have a different customer statement or customer format which we want to export out so what we will do is based on the customer you selected we will call a different paginator report and do different things so let's look that into the next video until then have a great day thanks for watching do subscribe my channel your feedback is very welcome thank you thank you very much bye for now